All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shredded the Content, and today we are doing something special. I'm doing some custom shirts for my brother. So I'm here in the studio, or the lab as we call it, making some custom shirts for my brother, some custom old school veteran, no, it's not veteran, what is it called? Vintage. Vintage, vintage logos for my brother for Boxley's Polishing Service, which is now called Boxley Services because they provide a ton of cleaning services in upstate New York. So you can check them out. I'll put all their information in the link below. So let's go ahead and make these shirts. All right, so the process that we're using now, what's up babe? The process that we're using now is a little bit different process than we've used previously. So Edwin, if you're watching this video, the, this is the first time that you will be getting these DTF transfers, okay? As you can see, it's extremely highly detailed, <clears throat> no pixelation. So you, you'll be able to tell the difference between this logo. The shirt is the same, but you'll be able to tell the difference between this logo and the one that we used before. Before we use DTF, no, these are called- Dark transfer. Dark paper. transfer paper, so it's kind of DT. P. <laughs> uh, and that was what we used before. And this is something that you use at like home. Yeah, oh yeah, she's gonna go ahead and press it. So this is something that you use at home for anybody watching this video. If you do not know, this is dark transfer paper. You've seen this, it's in Walmart. We, we get it from the same source that we get all of our other supplies. So it's a little higher quality. And that's what we've been doing before, but I'm proud to- That's with the inkjet printer. Oh, okay. You need an inkjet printer for your dark transfer paper. And that's what the, we used, inkjet printer dark transfer paper, and it's also printable vinyl type of thing. Okay, like a printable vinyl yeah. that you can do on dark um, dark colors. Yeah. Um, this process though, so this video is to my family, stuff like that, but this process, this is called DTF. This is our number one seller here in the store. And I really, our only other competition is somebody like a super color. But as you can see, we can do so much like this right here is a color sheet. So if you send us a color of something, we match it up to here. We have so many different prints. These are for tags. So we wanted to put, and maybe we might, maybe we might put custom tags yeah, in the back of each shirt. Too. Yeah, oh, we should. Sure. I don't have a 4X. Oh, we don't have a 4X, but yeah. So that's just a little, we're just doing a little quick video just to show you guys our DTF process and the difference between DTF and dark transfer paper. It's so, like, I don't think you can under, I don't think, this really, the camera really does it justice. I'm shooting on my phone. But as you see, look how close I'm getting and there's no pixelization. There's no pixels, you can't see anything, so. Door transfer is mostly for kind of your fast, uh, quick projects that it's not very durable and it's not, um, um, what is it? Uh, it's temporary, but what's the other one? Um, Long lasting? Yeah, it's definitely not permanent. Permanent, that's not yeah, right. Okay, so this yeah. is, dark transfer is more for temporary. DTF is a permanent solution, durable, no cracking, no fading. Dark transfer will eventually crack and will eventually fade over uh, time and time and time of washer and drying, washer and drying. I haven't experienced that, but I do have one specific shirt that does have this and I can see that it is starting to kind of uh, fade and things like that. But I know what I get myself into when using dark transfer. So I mm. wasn't really surprised. And I do let everybody know that it is not a permanent um, solution for high quality photos. Oh, okay, bet, yeah, it's yeah. not. So we are choosing, oh, is press this the first one? Is it cool? Oh, which one do I need to peel? Uh, you can just press, I mean, you can just film. Where's okay. my? Your, your two. Oh, damn, where is your ruler? Oh, right here. No, maybe. Yeah, it's up here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and yeah, so that's that's the, this is really our first time. We want to, we'll probably make another video, but I think it's good to just show you guys the difference between dark transfer paper and um, our DTF uh, service. A lot of people can make things look like this look like a DTF, like direct to film, but it's just really, you're just not gonna get the same quality. And in fact, we do, we have a customer who we've made about three or four shirts with this, and he was fully aware, right? Like he was fully aware mm -hmm. that it was gonna be like this, it was gonna be this material. Mm -hmm. um, I think he was even gonna give it as a gift. Anytime we wanna make something for kids, 
we'll birthday do shirts. Birthday shirts. Because we'll do they're it. only going to use them one day. It's there you for, go. you know, nice pictures for the kiddo one day. So it doesn't need to be as durable as you may need things with your logo on that you're going to wear every day for your company, things like that. Um, I think your brother's going to be wearing these to the gym. So they're definitely going to be washed a lot from, you know, being worn. So these will last him. And his last ones were made with our transfer paper. And he says they're still holding up. Mm. And that was sometime last year. Oh, okay. So he's... His dark transfers are still holding up, but these will outlast that for sure. And this is the old logo. So Uncle Steven and Michelle, if you guys are watching this, um, don't get mad at me. This isn't y'all's new logo, <laughs> but Edwin likes this logo so much. So It's hard. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. Oh, don't mess with it. <laughs> it's, it's second press. Oh, okay. Oh, this is second All these need second Oh, Sam, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't know you were going to... Oh, man, I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, don't don't look at that one. You won't know which one. <laughs> but that second press really seals it into the shirt. Yeah. And we can do... What's good about this is we can do any type of color. Like, there's nothing that we can't do. Yeah. We did, if you want to show them that white, that black shirt over there, where oh, yeah. we did like a fade, it's like faded. Let's see. Things, you definitely can't do that with dark transfer. Yeah, right here. All right there, right? Yeah. And then even this from this light to dark. This is a Clutch City, Clutch City guys. They're a car group here in Texas, here in Houston. But yeah, I just, uh, I just really wanted to kind of up the quality of your shirts, Edwin. So thank you for ordering some shirts with your little brother. I truly appreciate it, man. It means a lot. So I know you probably won't be able to tell the difference because you don't really care. You're going to be wearing these to the gym. But it's just to let you know, like, if you ever wanted to have any other item, a hoodie or or, um, or crew neck or anything like that, we could put the logo on there. And if you just wanted anything, you know, extra, like, you know what, hey, bro, I want something this for Vivian. Maybe I'll make like a Valentine's Day shirt or maybe one of the kids want something or something like that. You can hit your little brother up. So now they can be touched. Yes. Okay, now they can be touched. Look how good That's they came up. That's high. Look how good that looks. Let me spread them up I like that you do the, um, the yellow, bro. I like that. I like yeah. that you do these colors. Uncle Steven, this, you, uh, hmm? yellow and navy looks really good. I know it does. I got to this got to be my thumbnail or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks really good. Let me go ahead and get this last shot. And anybody out there using DTF, look how fast we were able to do that. Again, I'm filming on my iPhone, so I don't know how, how good the quality is going to come out. But anybody out there looking to use DTF instead of or if you're looking for an alternative to sublimation, if you're looking for an alternative to dark transfer paper, DTF is really the way to go. Our DTF process is really the best because unlike Supercolor, we allow gang sheets. So as you see on something like this, you wouldn't be able to order this sheet from gang sheets. You would have to order, and this is actually a few different colors because we're working with a school, a coach from a school to get the color right for his logo so we can uh, potentially get that school contract. You would not be able to get this sheet on or with Supercolor. You would have to print this, these two grays are different, and these two grays are different, and this is a light blue. You would have to print just the grays and pay for that, and a minimum of, uh, a minimum amount of that, and then this gray, and then this gray. So we, we created this process with our DTF process uh, really for the young business person out there who's trying to start and trying to make uh, merchandise or orders that they're getting. Maybe they started with vinyl, and their orders are starting to pick up, and now they did a little bit of sublimation and made a few shirts with uh, dark transfer paper. And now they kind of want to go to the next level. And maybe they've even tried Supercolor. And they've realized that they're having to place minimum orders and spend $100 per order for just one logo. And they really had different projects and stuff like that. And they're not able to, to take on the projects that they want. We allow that. We allow you to take on as many projects as you want through our DTF process. So... That's it, guys, for this video. Just wanted to make this quick video for my family. So all the family back home in New York, I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything. And it's an honor to have this name uh, to be associated. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. It's an honor to, to be, even Alman Adams, it's an honor to be a Boxley, and I truly appreciate it. So it's just awesome to be able to make, you know, like the old school Boxley's Polish and Service logo, because I remember being a little kid going up the hill to Ravina and going to my grandfather's shop. And I really, I don't think I really understood being young, understood what my grandfather had built. So now as an adult, now that I have it myself, I truly understand what he built as we have our son and our daughter who are growing up in it, you know, in a, in a family business. So shout out to Christian, Aunt Michelle, Autumn, Uncle Steven, Uncle Michael, Papa Jim, Edwin, my whole family, everybody, thank you. And Edwin, you'll get these shirts soon. And uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and share this video. Anything you want to say, babe? All right, guys. You know my slogan. I'm starving. So we're about to go home. Barbecue. Barbecue. Peace.